time for Seed Destiny. So as you can tell, that's a, that's a freedom. And that. Yep. All three stolen Gundams. So let's see what's about to happen. Ugh. I'm stable, it's almost over at the bridge. Let's see though. Due to the current situation, we're thinking of remaining in the ninth world for a while. Ugh. In that case, it seems like you guys won't be able to participate in the next operation. Shall we bring some people back? Nah. Now, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'd like to keep the number of Hazas gate deployments to a minimum. Please stay until the, in the ninth world so I contact you. Okay, well then. Hmm. Raiden and Kurumakuro, are they both robots that have existed for a long time? If it was put into operation immediately, even though it had been in storage for a long time, then it must be a piece of over technology. <laughs> over technology. I thought King Gainer appeared. In addition to that, two new enemies have appeared. This is a headache. Oh yeah, it is. The ninth world, like the first and tenth world, probably doesn't have humanoid mobile weapons in widespread use. Nah, probably not. Captain, will you see the message from the Mar Major Ramu Maru? Bring me into the third world. Contact, connect me. Let's see. It's been a long time, Colonel Bright. I apologize for the inconvenience, but the mercy has occurred in our world. Hmm? Let's see. In that case, would it be possible for you to send some troops from there to help settle the situation? Naturally, there are concerns in other worlds as well. Can you please detail this situation in detail? Okay, well, first let's talk about the situation in this world. Although there is a ceasefire between the Earth Alliance and Zath, skirmishes between the suicides continue. Huh. That is true. But we'll have to see. In the midst of this, Kigali Yula Atha, the Orb of Zenith Chief, who has back camped Archangel behind the scenes. Let's see. She headed to the Armory to Army One on the Industrial Colony to have an informal meeting with Gilbert Randall, the chairman the chairman of the Plant Side Council. Okay. And uh, what did they discuss? We haven't been informed about this, but it seems that Atherin Zala is company the representative. <laughs> However, it seems like a battle broke out in Omri 1, so I'm not sure if it has anything to do with that. It probably does. There is a fear that the Junior 7, which was scrapped in the Bloody Valentine incident, may deviate from its stable orbit and fall to Earth. What? Ah. So, the colony was dropped? <laughs> wait, wait. It's not decided that it's an artificial thing. I don't think it's an actual phenomenon. It's not. Although it's unofficial, what has that set it up after a meeting was held between the Earth side and the plant side? Ugh, I think the disadvantages on their side are also quite large. Yeah. Let's put off booking let's put off looking for the culprit. Now you have to think about how to avoid the worst outcome of the Junior 7 falling. Yep, that's right. Ugh. The Junior Seven is unmanned, but if a huge object, w but if a huge object with a diameter of ten kilometers would fall to Earth, the damage would be enormous. Huh, I think the Allied forces in Zath will probably try to stop it, but as I explained earlier, it's uh, it's a potentially volatile situation. And is that where the Divine Doers come in? Yeah. Well, we are people from another world. We have a proven track record of preventing meteorites from falling. <laughs> Major Ramius, we have a big operation coming up, so we can't send all our forces there. Immediately select and dispatch members who can prevent the fall of Junius 7. Hmm. Thank you. Let's see, though. This will disperse our forces again. For the next operation, we'll need to request cooperation from the Celestial Being, who are currently on standby. At the Minerva's Bridge. Oh boy. What about Bogey 1's Trace? Huh. We've been able to con they've been able to continue somehow. A daring operation to steal three new old suits. I wonder who or where it was planned at. Uh oh. Captain, it seems the Junior Seven has left its stable orbit and may be on a course to fall towards Earth. What? Oh no. 
at this timing. Exactly. It looks like we won't be able to track Bogey One, Bogey one anymore. I'm going to tell the chairman and representative, Os yeah, Arthur, about this. Inside the Minerva. Ooh, the Randall. I really have no words to apologize. I can't believe that even the princess will be dragged into this situation. However, I'd, I'd appreciate your understanding. Kagale. No, I'm the one who requested the informal meeting in the first place. I never imagined that something like that would happen in Armory 1. Yeah, Ga the robbery of Gaia, Abyss, and Chaos. If it wasn't for the efforts of Minerva and Impulse, it would have been a dangerous situation. Hmm. This ship and those machines are the result of military use of Japan's leaked technology and human resources, right? Well, they are battery powered. I should have told you about that. Without power, we won't even be able to defend our own country. You won't be able to defend your own country. As a princess, well, as a princess, you probably understand better. She lost her voice, actress. Isn't that why Orb is preparing its armaments? Could you please stop calling me princess? Huh. I'm sorry, Representative Arthur. Uh, what do you think about this time? What about the damage your country... Our country suffered because of those only three new mobile suits. Hmm. Representative. Let's see. So you're saying we shouldn't have powers? No. Why do you need them in the first place? That kind of thing is coming up now. Yeah, they kind of stole them. We must have sworn we won't let this tragedy happen again. We'll choose a path where you walk hand in hand. Of course, we're aware of that flossy, but... It was our new power that kept the damage to a minimum this time. The blame should be directed at Bogey One, who stole the new mobile suits from the Armory One. True. But you don't know who they are. I wonder what the real name of that ship is. The name indicates its existence. So what if it was a lie? Does that mean that its very existence is a lie? Alex. No. Atherin Zala? Let's see. If anything, I'd like to talk to the real you, Atherin. Hmm. Excuse me, Chairman. There's a possibility the Junior 7 will deviate from its stable orbit and fall to Earth. What? Wait, what? That's not good. Why would it do that? That thing was supposed to be in a stable orbit with every for a hundred years. Was it a meteorite collision or some other factor? Hmm. If it falls, what will happen? What happens to or no Earth? Let's see. It's a thing that it's a thing with that much mass. I'd not tell you, but the princess will understand that. Hmm? The plan must do it. Plants must do its best to investigate the cause and find ways to avoid it. Huh. <laughs> Captain, please interrupt the pursuit of Bogey 1 and head towards Junior 7 immediately. Uh, yes, I'll make arrangements for the chairman and representative to be transferred to another ship. Nah. Nah, I don't think we can afford that anymore. I'm very sorry to the princess for another accident, but... But what? I don't care. This is important for us. No, it's more than important for us. I, If there's something I can do... Uh, I understand how you feel, but... Please calm down, Princess. If you ever need my help, I'll let you know. If I never need your help, I'll let you know. For now, please wait in your room. Hmm. I understand. Let's see. Then, we're heading to the bridge. Uh, can you start Junior 7? Heck yeah, they can. It's an emergency. Both the plants and the Alliance will work together to prevent the fall. I hope so, but... Hmm... What will the Archangel do? Kira and the others. Inside the Minerva's main room. Why did Junior 7... Hey, extra pilots don't matter. Did it get hit by a meteorite? Or did something shift its orbit? An anime and character. Is it true that we're on a collision... That it's on a collision course with Earth? That's what the part-timer said. Huh. Huh, there's been a lot of robbery going on at the armory. It hasn't been cleared up yet. So this time, what should we do with Junior 7? Ray! We have no choice but to crush it. Oh, wait, crush? What? Let's see. 
it's impossible to change the trajectory. If you want to avoid, if you want to avoid collision, we have no choice but to break it. But it's huge. Even though it's broken almost in half, the longest part is eight kilometers long. Huh. How do you break something like that with guns? And there are still a lot of bodies of dead people over there. Uh, however, there is a collision. The earth will be destroyed. If that happens, there will be nothing left. There will be no one left. Uh, the destination destruction of the earth. Yeah. No. That's it. Nah, but well, it can't be helped. Yeah, it can. It's probably due to force major or probably due to major force. However, the strange mess will disappear completely and it might be a lot easier for us as plants. Let's see. You guys can't say that. It can't be helped? It's surprisingly easy? Huh. Do you guys really know what kind of situation this is? What will happen to the earth and how many people will die? Oh. Let's see. I'm sorry. Huh. Isn't that what you guys think, Zaft? Hmm. Let's see. After all those wars and all those feelings, things finally changed under Chairman Durandal's administration. Huh. Alright, Kigali. Uh. Let's see. I didn't mean it seriously either. Um. Arthur San or whatever. Hmm? Let's see. You don't even know anything about that, do you? Oh yeah, so this is the usual he hates her because of the death. What? Golly. Shin. Be careful with your words. Hmm. Ah, that's right. This person was gr great. She was the orb representative. You. <laughs> have it your way, have it your way, Kigali. Ugh. Let's see. You seem to really dislike Ord, but why? Hmm. It's because he lost his family there. It's said that you used to be an Orb, but you're gonna attack an unrelated representative for some re trivial reason. I won't lead you there. I won't lead you there for nothing. It's not worth it. You're gonna make me say it's not worth it? It's a big mistake to say it doesn't matter. My family was killed by the authors. What? Let's see. We believed in that in that country. Uh, we believed in your ideals, and in the end, we were killed by an onogore, or man, it was the freedom that killed them. What? That's why I don't believe in you guys. I don't believe in Orb or any country. I don't believe in the beautiful things you guys say. When you say you're going to uphold the justice of this country, did you guys really think about who was going to die because of your words at that time? Nah, they didn't. I wish someone who doesn't understand anything wouldn't say anything like she did. Hmm. Dang. Hey, Shin. Hmm. It ain't wrong. He, Shinosuke's family was in Orb. You remember the incident when the invaders attacked the Orb? Ah. Ah, the mass driver. Huh. His parents and sister died before they were caught up in that battle. What? So Shingeta was a cause. Is that what it meant? In a Minerva's room? Yeah. Let's see. There's no point in even thinking about it, Kagali. You knew that, right? There must be people like that. But about my father, like that, even though my father made the decision after suffering. But he can't help it. That's why you asked him to understand. But right now, he doesn't understand. I'm sure he's full of his own feelings. You can understand. You understand, right, Kigali? Aw. Yeah. She's crying. And I'm sure there's something we can do, too. Oh, boy. Somewhere on Earth is what it says. Let Fana Payne find out who planned to follow Junior 7. Durandal, the plants, sent a message to all the countries of the Earth and said that they would do their best to avoid it. What is important is what happens after this disaster. We need to give answers to the people who are crying out. Why is this happening? And no matter what, we must relieve ourselves of the humiliation of having to flee for the sake of Junior 7. Let's see. Together with the coordinators who created all those things in space. 
Oh boy. It's time. Just load already. Unhealed scars. The Minerva. Voltaire and Rosso are already ahead with Meteor Breakers. Hmm. Ah, that's hurry too. Is there any movement on the Earth side? Probably not. We haven't heard anything yet about about it, about what they're doing. But even if we send a ship from the moon, we won't be able to make it in time. The only thing left is to destroy it with missiles from the surface. But that would only scratch the surface and wouldn't produce, produce much results. In any case, Earth is our mother. Earth is our mother planet. We must do what we can in this unprecedented crisis. There may not be much we can do with this ship's equipment, but please try your best to deal with the situation. Uh oh. I found bogey one in green 50. So I have 50 marked beta. Distance is 8,000. It's approaching. It's approaching here. That's not good. That is not good at all. Even though they are supposed to be chased, why would they go to our side to set up a trick from the other side? Nah. Chairman. Let's see. What's wrong, Atherin? No, Alex. Should I should have told you to stay in your room as well. I know it's impossible, but please let me your mobile suits as well. Ugh. It's certainly impossible. Do you think you who are now a what's called? Sorry. Do you think that you who are not a civilian in another country can be granted such permission? Do you want to waste the chairman for chairman cannabis efforts? Let's see. I understand, but I can't just stand by and watch this situation happen. What if you have a machine that can be used? Hmm. I understand how you feel, but Okay, I'll give you permission. As a special exception to the chairman's authority. Chairman? Well, that makes sense. He's a good mobile pilot. It's better to have as many machines as possible, even if it's only one. You know how reliable he is. True. Bogey 1 is within sight. Well, now we're going to investigate Junior 7. Whenever has entered effective firing range. Hmm. Alright. Send Sting and the others out. We don't want them to interfere with our investigation. The three Gundams. They're like one of the few times I always actually over here. Are you sure? Using the new models you just took. What? Sorry. You just took to hold them back? Probably. The opponent's that new ship. The fused. Yeah, the fused bastard will also appear. Isn't that just right? Hey, Stella. Hopefully, you can save her this time. Yeah. Let's see. They came out. Oh boy. Those three plant those three machines. Today's the day. Uh, both of you, you're too anxious. Yeah, you are. Chairman, what do you think of Bogey One at this point? Pirates or Earth Forces? It's Earth Forces. That's difficult. They didn't want to join the air I don't want it I don't want to join the Air Forces. Huh. I don't know what kind of spark it'll cause. Let's see though. No matter what, I don't want to be. I don't want us to be stuck here. Right now, the problem with the Junior Seven, with Junior Seven, is more important than trying to recapture the three new models. Ugh, I understand. Let's see. Shin, stop the three new machines. Ray, Lunamar, Ray, and Lunamar will support Shin. Our ship will now head towards Junior Seven. Roger that. Oh boy. Hmm. Junior Seven is priority. So we're thinking the same thing. Let's hurry too. Roger that. Let's see. Are they going after that ship? To, are they going after the Minerva? No. They're planning on going to Junior 7 too. And I won't let you get in my way. Whoa. Hey. Let them do it. So all we gotta do is just destroy. Let's see. This time I'll take your head. <laughs> what on earth do you guys want? Ugh. 
real quick. Yeah, it's 575, okay. Dang it. Let's see. I just want to see how he responds to them. Uh, you. What's called? I'll take back the machine you stole this time. Huh. What are you doing again? What? Then he has one last attack with that wool. That I want to see. And you're gonna hit the Delphine. Dang it. As much as I want to use an attack. Oops. Let's see what this one's attack name is. Let's see. Let's get back at least one machine. What do you mean by the new model? It's this one. Alright, we can kill now. Let's see. Hmm, isn't it sticky? What the heck? Sting, it's time to pull back. Roger that. I can't bear to die in a place like this. Wait, hmm? I'm, I'm going to die? No, you're not. Did, you're gone. She's gone. Ugh, I told you so. She goes crazy. I don't want to. I don't want to die. Hmm? What's going on with the Gaia? Yeah. Great. Ugh, let's go after Stella. Owl. Yeah, it's translated as owl. Well, we're going to be, it's going to be salvaged, salvaged anyway. Did they just run away? We should hurry to the Minerva too. Uh oh. A large heap source body is approaching. Oh, a battleship? Hmm. IFF doesn't belong it doesn't belong to Zaf. to Zaf. Uh, Luna and Ray, please start to Minerva first. I'll confirm the identity of the unknown person. Alright, but but let's see. It's okay. I catch up with the impulse. Huh, okay. Let's go, Luna Mario. Uh, right. So now I gotta see who it is. It's not Zath. Then it's the Alliance? Uh-oh. What? That ship is... The Archangel. Let's see, though. Uh, uh, Ar Archangel? Why did you come to a place like this? Hmm? Good communication. I'm Maru Ramius. Maru, Maru Ramius, Captain of the Archangel. My purpose here is to stop Junior 7 from falling. Let's see. We had no intention of engaging you, therefore, he's gonna fight. Huh, ah, you guys. Hmm? Uh oh. Because you guys appeared in orb at that time. That's not good. What on earth? He's gonna try and attack. Archangel is recognized as a dangerous um, force. We can't afford to overlook it. Whoa. Damn. We have no intention of engaging you. Hmm. Shut up. Yeah, now nah, he's going. He's aiming for blood. The circumstances are unknown, but he feels a lot of resentment towards you. The one who took the shortest course to Junior 7 has become our enemy. I know, but it'd be bad to set, to set things up with Zaft here. Uh, however, it'll be a difficult. It will be difficult to persuade him. Let's see. Leave that machine to me, and please take the Archangel to Junior Seven. Kira. Huh. Go. Let's see. Ah, I understand. Don't push yourself too hard. Freedom. Ugh. Uh, I won't forgive you. Absolutely never. I don't think you'll understand the Eight of Thoughts indirectly in this case. 
We just gotta weaken this guy. Can we weaken him? Oh boy, let's see. My family was ruined because he showed up over there at that time. Hmm. If you let your guard down, if I let my guard down, I'll get hit. Whoa, he has another dialogue. The battle between you and the invaders is an orb. We got caught up in that, and my parents and sister died. I'll drag you out of that machine and make you apologize in front of everyone's grave. It's not just the machine's performance, but it's spirit. Whoa. Huh, my mouse almost fell. Let's see. Not yet. Uh oh. He kept his distance. I'll make you unable to move. What? Hmm. Let's see. What? There. Oh, he destroys the... He destroyed the rifle. Oops. Hold on. Let's see what that was saying. I'm sorry, but I need to hurry up. Damn. Don't run away. Freedom! Don't ever run away, you! Oh boy. Man, these are not the free, uh, not freedom, the impulse. Well, force impulse. Well, you, you get what I mean. Straight into the violent stuff, aren't we? Let's see, chapter 47. Before the world ends. Eh. Speed of Junior 7 is increasing. Crush that thing into as many pieces as possible. For that purpose, install as many meteor breakers as possible. Move deftly. Ah, I understand. What the heck? From Junior 7? Really? Jin, what do you mean? Where are the, where's these machines? Let's see. There's no response from the IFF. Hey, these guys are the culprits. They are. I won't let you get in my way. Junior 7 is the gravestone of the family that was. Yeah, what, that was killed naturally. Wait, what? Forget the cries of Layman. Close your eyes to the truth, and once again, correct this world, which is overflowing with deceit. What? Jules' is, exact Jules team will go ahead to Junior 7. We'll take care of th things here. Roger that. Please do. Huh. If it turns out that the terrorists or plant, what's it called, or the ones who plan to take down Junior Seven are using th these gins, there is that there's risk that the alliance will speculate that Zat is involved in this incident. Yeah, I'm sure they'll give a, I'm sure they'll give us an, an unnecessary excuse. Let's see, though. In that case, it'd be better if we had at least one mobile suit to stop us from, to stop them from falling. Heh. <laughs> I'm leaving. Atherin? Let's see. Dark Angel's approaching. Even though he'd receive, even though I received the port from Shin, she'd go out of her way to, they go out of her way to um, appear in front of us. Captain, please don't attack them from here. I understand. Ugh. There's also the Divine Doors machines. Call from the Archangel. Let's see. Give us a connection. Roger that. My name is Ru Maru Maru Ramius of the Divine Doors. We have no intention of fighting here. Our purpose is here is coming here to stop the Junior Seven from falling. Hmm. They call themselves the Divine Doors. Chairman, please let me speak. Let's see. That won't happen, Princess. This Minerva is a Zaf ship. We have the right to negotiate. Uh, also, there are rumors that the current Archangel is working with Orb. What? Let's see. Negotiation is about paying attention to every situation. Let me talk here. 
Ah, Captain Ramius. I am Gilbert Durandal, chairman of the Plant High Council. Whoa, why is the head of the plant on that ship? I humbly accept your offer. In order to prevent Junior 7 falling, I'd like to join forces with you right now. I understand. Let's see then. Also, I would like to add that the representative of Orb, the representative of Orb, Kagali Yula Atha, is on board this ship. What? Let's see. Why is Kigali on a Zaf ship? Uh oh. The chairman of the High Council. Uh, he's the head of the plant side. I heard beforehand that Kigali and that man had an informal meeting, but I didn't expect them to be on the front lines like this. Let's see. Maybe it's a bluff. Words alone won't get people to trust you. Send the camera image for the. We'll send it the camera image for a different angle. Huh. That doesn't seem like it's a processed image. And I also saw Ather and Zala. Yep, they probably meant to show it casually, but made it more believable. Huh. If you take that into if you take that into consideration, then the Durandal guy is quite the strategist. What do you plan to do, Chairman? You told me not to talk. Is this insurance to protect you from being attacked by the Archangel? Captain Ramius. Would you mind letting the terrorists here, leading the terrorists here to you and rushing the, leading the terrorists here to us and rushing to Junior 7? First, I want to show the world that I will stop it with the help of Zaft. I understand. Well then, Captain. Huh. Yes, we're rushing to Junior 7. If they call themselves the Divine Doers, then Captain Ramius wouldn't have any ambivalence. Looks like we're dealing with them. The hostages have been taken, Captain. Yeah, it's a blessing in disguise that they're with Atherin. Besides, Chairman Durando declared that those jinns to be a terrorist. Yeah, to be terrorists. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we just destroyed Junior 7? Uh, as Chairman said earlier, they need to first announce to the world that this, is, that this matter is not Zap's intention. If they don't, another big war will start. Hmm. We can't deny the possibility that it's play on the part of the plants, though. Even if that were the case, sooner or later, the result will be visible. Anyway, let's do what we can for now. Let's just kill seven enemies. Eh, let's just let auto do its thing. Slowly moving. I say it still shouldn't get her even if it doesn't have its upgrades. There's so many enemies. Ugh. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Yeah, we're just gonna destroy them all, looks like. Yep, they're all gonna die. It's still funny when you see super robots that are like twice the size of these guys, and they think they can put a challenge. Like when Shin wanted to fight Tetsuya, but Great Messenger is bigger than a Nightmare Frame. Eh, size doesn't matter, I guess. Let's see. Those guys have no hesitation. Yeah. Those who try to cause disaster without doubting their own justice don't even value their own lives. Uh oh. Heat source approaching. Yellow 20 marks, 40 Charlie. Distance is 1000. Affiliation number unknown. Uh, number three. Terrace? Terrace reinforcements? Probably. Let's do this. So the boss will be the three units now. Let's see. And they have machine unknown affiliations within visual range. And of course, the Gundam? It's possible that it's a Federation machine. Let's see. Don't be kidding. There's no way we're talking about the Archangel in a place like this. Huh. Could it be that they were the ones who moved Julius 7? No. Open the International Rescue Channel. 
All right. Let's see what she's about to say then. This is Maru Ramius, Captain of the Archangel. We're engaged in a battle with the terrorists who are plotting to take down Junius Seven. All right. I had no intention of fighting with you. <laughs> They're terrorists from our perspective. They bear their fangs to both the Alliance and Fang and Zaft. So what should we do? Really? It's okay if we target. It's okay if we target the fishermen. The fishermen. We can investigate and take out the terrorists. You really think you could take them down when they have super robots? Now uh, that's right. Captain, those three machines have entered attack mode. Respond immediately. Yeah, nah, we'll keep trying to persuade them. Ugh, it's no use. Our goals and theirs are not the same. Yeah, okay. I trust you. Okay, she learned her lesson. That's a good thing, because before she wouldn't learn her lesson. Now she did. Happy for her. Something's coming. Huh, the big guy has appeared, and now they've done it. Let's see. Ugh, did you just do that? Great. Did you come after me? Let's see. What the hell is going on here? In addition to those three machines, there's even Divine Doers. Huh. The gun of the shot, the Archangel? That big red machine. I won't let you get in my way. Hmm? Ugh. Let's see. Wait, you protected me? What are you planning on doing? Uh, hey, that gun over there. Can you hear us? What? Let's see. We came to destroy Junior 7. We had no intention of fighting with them. Huh. Can you believe... I can't... Can I believe that? Before I came here... Before you came here, I was at war with the Freedom. Eh. Yeah. Well, mostly because you attacked the... You attacked them on one side. Let's see. That's when you guys were... What? Were what? We'll cooperate if th in the destruction of Junius 7. You want to save the Earth? Just believe in us now. What do people from other worlds have to say about this? Ugh. We came here because we wanted to save the Earth of this world too. Otherwise, why would we jump into such a dead place? Hmm? Let's see. If you doubt us, you can always shoot us. However, we won't be defeated by half-baked half things. Dang. Let's see. Are you going to stop Junior 7 right here or not? Which is it? Uh, I understand. I'll believe in you just for now. Alright. So now we just gotta get straight into it. So we just gotta keep on attacking. Oh. Wait, really? They have slower speed than normal mobile suits. I just noticed that. So the three Gundams have 520 versus the normal 550. Whoa, they're evading at 84% accuracy. It's like fire emblem up in here. Eh. This lets him go again. Let's see. I hate side busting your slow at your low um what's called attack range. Dang it. And they're all evading at 84% accuracy. How? How are they evading at 84% accuracy? Dang. Let's see. Slowly, but at least we're doing some damage, right? Because, dang. It sucks right now. Dang, we don't have.
don't have access to anything. Oh, wait. Start shooting. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Well, at least that ends up. There we go. Sting, we're really at a loss. Nah, we've had enough information. We've had enough information gathering. Let's pull out. Huh, let's, I see. Let's see, after them. The, from the Minerva. Shin, can you hear me? Team, Team Jewel used Meteor Breakers to crush 27. But half of it fell to Earth. What? Ugh. We need a mobile suit to crush it at the very limit of altitude. Please join up with the Minerva as soon as possible. Roger that. Freedom. The next time we meet. It's still a vengeful Shin. Let's hurry to Junior 7 2. Uh oh. Let's see what's happening now at the Archangel. No, it is the Minerva's Bridge. So now let's see what's happening real quick. Let's see. Minerva now wants to answer. Yeah, we want. They, yeah. My voice sucks right now. Minerva is now entering the atmosphere and crushing the target with its bow cannon to the limit. Huh? Well, Captain, that's. Let's see. We apologize for the inconvenience, but could the chairman and representative Arthur please move to the Voltaire? Huh. Understood. Let's see what she says. Well, I'll stay here. What? Let's see. If Minerva is willing to go that far, I'll go with you. Aw. However, the ruler still has other work to do. Nah. If that's what the representative wants, I won't stop you. Captain, do we have a chance of winning? Huh, <sighs> I don't know how far we can go. However, even though we have the power to do so much, I still have a bad feeling that we're just watching instead of doing anything. Huh, <sighs> Talia, but let's see. I'm a one with strong luck. Please leave, please leave this to me. Huh, <sighs> okay. Okay, so Talia. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. No, Chairman. Please hurry. Let's see. Golly. Archangel and the Divine Doers will also help. I'll also come out in a mobile suit. Alright. Atherin. At Orb. Ooh, the blind guy. Lackis. We succeeded in crushing Junior 7, but there is still a threat of damage from the falling pieces. Lackis is back. Civilians are evacuating to government-designated shelters in various places. The location where the debris, debris fell has not been determined, but the area entered the around the the area centered around the equator is predicted to be the most dangerous. Let's believe Kira, Archangel, and all the divine doers. Yeah, we got this. Let's see though if we really do have this. Whoa. Let's see though. Damn it, how long do we have to keep going? Heh. <laughs> Minerva broke the big pieces for us. Let's see. At that size, it won't burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah, it won't. Tch. The limit altitude. If it's the impulse, it's still okay. Jules' team should leave. Hmm. Okay, leave the debris above here to us. Let's see if he can survive. Can we not destroy all the pieces below? Huh? Whose machine is that? There are two A fragments. We'll break. Uh, I'll. We'll break them to the limit. Huh? You. Let's see. I need to do what I can too. Hmm. How oh, would someone like you end up in orb? Uh oh. I won't do anything. You won't do anything more than this. Huh, they're not. Th we're not there yet. My daughter's gravestone. If we don't drop it and burn it, the world will never change. Ah, oh, he used the daughter's thing. Great. 
forget the morning of the lies that was mid was, that were miserably miserably scattered here. Why are you laughing in a false world with the people who you shot you? Yeah. Let's see. Zap has changed after being deceived by Klein's weak successors. Huh. Why'd you realize that? For us coordinators, the path taken by Patrick Zala is the only correct one. What? Let's see. This is our feeling. This time, together with other natural people. Huh? Let's see. They exceed the limit of altitude and, of altitude and couldn't bear it. Tch. Damn, here too? Don't worry about me, the fragments. Let's see, we're out of time. Huh, then why'd you take me? No matter how many impulse thrusters you have, you still only have enough energy to fall for two machines. Why do you keep saying things like that? Then what should you I say? Help me, you bastard, is what you should say. Divine doers. Huh. You're the disposal of the debris to us. You guys just go down. Yeah. But you guys are going to burn out. No, they won't. There's no need to worry. Our machines have the ability to enter the atmosphere. But can you break the pieces with... Can you break the pieces with that many pieces? Yeah. What? Let's see. We are exper we're experiencing situations like this. Uh, that's such nonsense. <laughs> Shin, that's true. What? Let's see. Let's do it, you guys. Get your spirits up. Yeah. Huh. With our power to protect the Earth. To protect it. To protect it. Oh boy. The Archangel's Bridge. Most of the Junior Centers. Most of the Junior Center then fragments have disappeared. But a small number have fallen to the ground. What's the extent of the damage? Heh. <laughs> Most of them did not fall into the inhabited areas. Also, evacuation had been completed in the areas where they fell. So I think the damage was kept to a minimum. Oh, really? Hmm. However, the economic damage to the Earth side is huge. Also, the video evidence shows that the culprit is a Zath terrorist. This will not only increase the friction between the naturals and the coordinators, but there's a risk that it'll develop into a war. We need to keep an eye on future developments, but given the reconstruction efforts in various places, it's unlikely that things will change anytime soon. I think it'll happen sooner or later. In fact, the pilot of Zaf's new Gundam has shown intense hatred towards us. Is there some sort of connection between that person and the Divine Doers? Probably because of the battle in Orb. Ah, yeah. In any case, we'll carry out the next operation. We'll have the members we dispatched return here. Roger that. I wish I wish Commander Shima good luck. At the Minerva's Bay. Minerva saved me. Even Impulse can't support the Zaku in that atmosphere. Yeah, just being able to live like this. Heh. <laughs> Atherin, good, you're safe. Kigali. I'm sorry for making you worry. Heh. <laughs> no, I know your skills. I'm actually glad you came out. What? Let's see. It was truly a terrible thing. Thanks to Minerva, the Archangel of the Divine Doers, the scale of the, the, scale of the damage was significantly reduced. It also applies to the people of Earth. Hmm. Please stop. Hmm? Let's see. You were on the bridge after all, and you must know what this is all about, right? What? Let's see. The fall of Junior 7 was not a natural phenomenon. There was a culprit. The coordinators were the ones who dropped it. You ain't wrong. My family was killed there, and the people who still hold a grudge over there are the ones who told me that naturals should perish. But, I, I know, but... But what? But what? Hey, <laughs> that is what you said. You guys tried desperately to stop it. Eh, it's only natural. I can no longer have those feelings like I had during the orb invasion. Hmm? Let's see. Although the damage was kept to a minimum, even if it was the work of a few people, it doesn't change what we coordinators did. Yeah. 
I wonder if you'll forgive me, but still... It's also at the end. That force coordinators. The path taken by Patrick Zala was the only correct one. Huh. Let's see what's about to happen now. We at the planet are also dealing with this unprecedented event with a heavy heart. Ugh. I know that the wounds you have suffered are deep. But please, friends of Earth, please rise up from this disaster. We will also spare no effort in helping. Huh. The Randall is spitting out sweet words and holding out his hand. Ugh, however, thanks to the Phantom Pain, I found out the identity of the person who caused Junior 7 to fall is the best card I could have ever imagined. There is no one in this world who can forgive what they have done, and that is the strongest bond between us. This time, I'll bring death to all of them. I'm not like the late Murata Azriel. I'll do what that man could not do. And which is, for a blue and pure world. Alright, it's finally over. Ugh. It's over. Well, until the next part, goodbye.